Hey guys, Mars Framens here. Today we're gonna talk about metahumans, how to make your metahuman videos even better. See, metahumans are awesome, we love them, we use them, but one of the things that are lacking right now in early access is clothing options. So that's why we filmmakers are forced to use third-party softwares to improve our metahuman wardrobe. And today we're gonna talk about one of these softwares. Company True Mirror gave me a chance to try their closing solution called 3D Draper. Right now it's in a beta access, so there are some things that needs improvement, but overall it's actually pretty, pretty interesting solution, especially for the filmmakers. Main key element in the software is it used the closing simulation. So, you know, the biggest downside is it's kind of GPU heavy, so I don't know how the people could use it in the games, but for the films, for the short films, it's gonna work out pretty well. I, I, I loved it. I am like played around with it for a few days. So before we jump into the video, if you're gonna like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna really appreciate it and let's jump into it. So the developer provided me with some clothing uh, samples so we can take a look. Let's say dress silk clothes. So it looks pretty good. So when you're gonna work on your project, so basically this is how it's gonna look. Select the cloth parts, make some adjustments, you know. This string is going to be used to connect the pieces. It's okay if you move it way too much. The most important is so the hand is kind of between this, the head is between that, another arm. And then when you're kind of satisfied, you're going to see where the magic happens. We just need to press start simulation and bam, look at this. It's fully simulated. Get rid of the wrinkles. We can just move it down. Uh, this is just kind of a bit brief look of the software itself, but we're just gonna now go to the main part, how it looks in Unreal Engine. So once you're in Unreal Engine, so basically this is how it would look. So one of the things is, as it's clothing simulation, you can mo move stuff in the real time. You can adjust it if you don't like something. We can see like, you know, we can touch the pants. We can move things. We can kind of try to break things. We can roll the sleeve. As you can see, the claws are pretty, pretty stretchy. And so here we can kind of see the big downside when it comes to simulation instead of it would be a skeleton mesh. If the animation goes too crazy, it just breaks. One of the things I actually looked is if we are not running the simulation and if it would be possible convert it to the skeleton mesh, because if we are looking what's happening if we are not running simulation, if it basically acts like a skeletal mesh in a sequencer, it's actually not bad. We can have more complicated movements and it actually looks pretty good. It would need a bit here, maybe some adjustments, but it's something that you can adjust in a draper. So if you would be able to convert this scale simulation, like, you know, not use it really as clothing simulation, but a skeletal mesh or something like that, it would work better, I think. Or anchor points. If you could put anchor points, it would work as good at, as, as well, I think. I think kind of like the dress works the best right now. Really nice. Nothing breaks. Everything is where it should be. It looks really good. Look at that. And she can do more even complicated moves as before we saw like, you know, where the character is breaking. With the dress, it looks really good. So I kind of think that the dress is the best part and when it comes to the other body parts, then yeah. Most of the parts, it's like the wrist and the ankles is somewhere where I saw that it break the most times. Like, you know, it just flew away and then just the whole clothing simulation just, just like, you know, flew away. So I think if there would be option to add anchor points on the body and so it attaches and doesn't fly, Maybe it would look weird, but uh, but with a little bit of practice, you can actually kind of solve, as you saw in my um, in my B-roll before uh, this video started. There is not that many arm glitches because, once again, if you play with the steel and you make like kind of like, you know, from the steel to that animation, really smooth transition, and there is no sudden moves, then the clothing simulation is not going to break and it's basically kind of, you know, one way to kind of fix most of the parts, but still when I was doing this breakdancing, hip hop, spinning, it's still shirt is gone, pants are gone, bye. When it comes to the movies and filmmaking, then obviously there is a huge, huge perspective, especially like, you know, options to do it, especially like you can create, you know, just some kind of dialogue scenes, something that there is less, you know, heavy dancing, fighting scenes, I think it would work. And it's 
It's brilliant product, easy to use. We have real time customization options. Everything that you can normally adjust in the material, you have sliders for that and you can adjust, you know, change the texture and everything else real time in this software, which is, I think is great. I think this is the best option right now when it comes to the people who are not really 3D artists. Because every other option usually requires 3D modeling skills and, you know, rigging and other, like other stuff. I don't know. This one, you just draw the dress side together and it just simulates. Easy. Easy as that. Once it's going to be out of the beta, I hope there's going to be trial versions for you all guys to try it out. And yeah. So basically, this is like kind of my small overview of this cool product and definitely check it out. Sign up if there is a sign up, I don't know. And yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.